one of the features that makes WordPress such a popular CMS to use nowadays is how easy it is to install and configure and quickly get your website up and running. It also has the ability to display different languages in English and time and again I found that this feature um, is most often overlooked by new users who are just getting comfortable with WordPress. Well, it's not really difficult to use WordPress in other languages and in this tutorial I'm going to show you exactly that. First up, you need to go to the um, WordPress in your language page uh, in the WordPress codex. This is the address. Um, when you arrive at this page, you can see at the right hand side that there's a list of languages which you can use with WordPress. These languages um, are basically just the translation of the English version of WordPress and as you can see there's a lot of languages included here 68 at the time being now um, for this purpose um, of this t tutorial I'm going to show you how to install a um, Malay language pack for WordPress um, as you can see uh, this is the, the demo website that I'm going to be using uh, this is actually a demo page for the Graphene WordPress team which I developed myself um, if you go to the Graphene team page, uh, you can see that under the languages section, there are actually 14 languages that come with the theme currently, including Malay as one of them. So first thing to do is to download the WordPress version specific to the language that you want to use. Um, so if I click on Malay, uh, there's a link where you can download the Malay, the translated version of WordPress. If I click on that, this is the page that I'm going to get, so I just click on that link. And it's going to bring me to the page where I can download the Malay version of WordPress, which is that. So just download that to your desktop, and this is the file that you're going to get. Um, the file, uh, well, depends on which file you download, you can get either a zip file or a tar.gz file. I recommend you to download the zip file because, you, because it's easier to open on your Windows computer. So just like click that and it's like here. When you extract the file that you just downloaded, uh, you get a WordPress folder. This is um, a standard, as you, uh, as you can see this is a standard WordPress um, files except that they all have been translated to Malay. If I open up WP config sample you can see that this file is now it's not in, it's no longer in English. It has been translated to Malay. You may not want to use this version of WordPress because it is often not the latest version of WordPress. Um, for example, for this Malay language, the latest version is only 2.9.2, .2, so that is what this copy of WordPress is. Whereas the current version of WordPress is 3.0.4. So I'm going to show you how you can use. Um, the language pack from this version with the latest version of WordPress. What you need to do is just click on WP content and you can see that there's a languages folder inside the file that you just downloaded. Um, if you click on that you can see that these are the files required uh, to use WordPress in the Malay language. So what you need to do is now open up your favorite FTP program um, I'm using FileZilla, which is an open source program, it works fine, so um, you can also use it if you want to. What you need to do is navigate to your website's uh, WordPress root folder, and inside that you, you can see that there's a WP content folder. Just click on that, and you can see that currently there is no languages folder in here. So what you need to do is just transfer the languages folder from the language specific version that you have just downloaded onto your web server. After that is done, uh, make sure that you have the files um, on the server. Well, you don't actually need to do this. Just make sure that the transfer um, is completed. Actually, there's still queued files. It's not yet completed. Anyway, so that's done. So these are the files that have been transferred to the languages folder. Okay. Now the next thing to do is to actually tell WordPress to use the language that you have just uploaded. Well, to do that, go back to the root folder of your WordPress installation um, and find the file that says wpconfig.php. 
um, just download that to your desktop and then you can open it using um, any uh, text editor like notepad it's just fine if you want to open it using notepad for example just right click on it and then open with notepad and this is the configuration file for your WordPress settings you need to scroll down and find this uh, defined WP lang bit so this is where you're gonna tell WordPress what language to use um, you need what you need to do is you need to edit this part here in between the single quotes and put in the language code for the language that you want to use uh, for example for the Malay language the code is ms underscore my that is a standard international code for the Malay language that basically says this is a Malay language and that basically says the country which is Malaysia um, you can find the code to use for your language uh, in the WordPress in your language um, page the language code is displayed next to the uh, language name for example Macedonian is mk underscore mk you can see that Malaysia sounds ms underscore my um, if somehow the um, language code is not displayed uh, beside the language title you can always look up in the language file that you have downloaded in the, fo in the languages folder you can see that it is always in this format especially this MO file so that bit of that file is always the code for the language that you want to use so when you have um, added that information just save uh, the configuration file and then upload it back to your server and just replace the current file on the server and when you have done that if your team supports the language that you want to use um, if you refresh this page now it's going to be translated ultimately yep so now the link is in Malay um, and there is also uh, a lot of other things that have been translated to Malay uh, you can do the same thing with any other languages that the team supports um, notice that the content is not automatically translated that you have to do yourself um, a note about the team support uh, different teams will have different languages that they support so make sure that you check uh, for whatever team that you're using it supports the language that you want to use or if they don't you can actually go to a tutorial on how you can translate the team yourself and then use it with your work WordPress website. So that's all for this tutorial. Good luck.